We got crop circles today. Heart shaped with love. Ooh, look at him splashing through it all. Oh, I can feel my butt getting wet. Mine is. I just don't want the drone getting wet. Pants up. There we go. Ooh. Well, they're having fun. Ooh. Careful, get up, get up. It's gonna be all wet. No, it's all ice. Get up off of it before you break through and get really wet. Good save, good save. <laughs> Smooth pedals. Keep the traction. Oh, get up, get up. Okay. When you think you're gonna fall, step off before you fall like that. You all right? Don't ever buy a backpack that has one strap. Because it's not a backpack, it's a swing around pack. Nothing about staying on the back about it. Mwah! It's gorgeous out. It's about 50 degrees. The six inches of snow is about down to two, but it's a bunch of slush. So we got the bikes out, we got a drone out. Take advantage of it while we can. Got some new props to test out today. Camera settings too, so hopefully with the sun and the bright snow, uh, it won't look too god awful. T-Motor 5143s. Um, as you can see on this Demon No X5R frame, there's just barely clearance. It's more in the back, my LEDs take up some space, but we'll see how she goes. Yeah, put her in the air. Tight fit. What you, what you, what you want? Just an update on the RDQ packs. I've been using them for several months now. Uh, I couldn't tell you how many cycles, uh, but you can see some of the scars on the pack. So they haven't been the most gently used things, um, and they perform great. They're not a race pack, but they're better than your normal everyday pack, I guess you could say. I really enjoy them. These are the 1300s, and you'll be able to see, I get about yeah, if I'm really screaming hard, I'll get two and a half minutes, and it comes down pretty warm. Um, if I'm just cruising, I can get four and a half, almost five minutes out of the build, which you can see down in the description. If you haven't tried any yet, great price, I say try it. Also, I have not tuned any PIDs for the Mobius camera or this mount yet. Yeah, I really haven't been able to do much flying. The Wimius camera, it finally crapped out, and we got the new Mobius replacement. I've had the mount forever, never used it, so it's a, it's a great mount. UAD. I will try to find the link and put a link down in the description. But it's a very good TPU 3D printed mount. So hopefully there's not too much vibrations or jello. We'll see. It's all a big test today. Camera settings, mount settings, PIDs I know are going to have to be tuned, um, and new props. So normally don't change that many variables, but it's all about the fun. Okay, we'll see you in the air.
bit sketchy. <laughs> I thought I was gonna put it in the snow. All right, I like these props. Got enough clearance, didn't have any problems. Uh, again, they're the T-Motor 5143s. They felt good. Telemetry lost. Not quite as grippy as my normal Cyclones. I normally, my normal go-to bash prop is the uh, 5046C. Really grippy props, they're great props, super durable. These, I literally, I clipped one tree. But other than that, I haven't really put them through the paces yet on durability. Um, handling, they're great. You need a little bit extra RPM to really push through the tight uter corner, which, again, I really wasn't pushing that hard today. Uh, I was afraid to put it into this soggy ground. But I like them. And they fit the uh, No X5R, which you can't really get anymore. But in case you have one and you were wondering, um, the Demon RC No X5R will fit 5.1 inch props. So I had fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time.